ocean style. Ocean style. We are on another spear fishing mission today. Because our freezer's empty. <laughs> and we are excited to take you guys along with us. We are putting, I'm putting together our black reef spear fishing poles now. And we're about to jump in the water. You know what the best part about today is gonna to be though? What's that? It's a competition. A competition? It's a competition. This girl and her competitions. <laughs> Always trying to beat me at something. It's gonna be you versus moi. All right. So now, and, and now that she's got her first fish, she's feeling a little bit more confident that she can beat me because the first fish was bigger than mine. Well, I wasn't done. So the catch is the viewers get to say who wins. So we each have our bag of fish, whatever it is that we spear. And so they're going to vote on that particular bag, which one they would like more than the other. Is that is that what you're thinking? Well, I just think they get to vote on whatever. Like if they like my technique better or if my fish is bigger or if my fish is prettier, then they can say that I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you look a lot prettier in that water. So I don't know. I feel like you're going to win this no matter what. You feel like this is slanted? Yeah. Forget about the hogfish for right now. The grouper's almost out of the hole with my, with my pole. Nice. Thanks. Come here. Hold on, he's right here. All right. He's big. Really? Yeah, he's big as the other one. about what happened so I went down I could see him laying in the hole he, he was he had hold himself up after him we went down after him and so I see him laying in the hole I get a good shot placement on him and I'm able, able to pull him out but he's pull he's actually on the end of the slip tip and he's pulling down on me I get back up to the surface and I'm trying to grab a hold of him in the gills and get my dive knife out so I can brain him and immediately he gets out of my hands and starts swimming down and I almost swam down with the bull. And then I get back up to the surface and about the same time, I get Emily <laughs> pulling on me and pushing me down saying, don't do it, don't do it. She thought I was getting ready to gut the fish. And we know that there's a lot of sharks in the area. Um, so I wasn't gonna gut the fish. I was just trying to simply brain him so we could then bring him to the dinghy and he's not pulling on me. Uh, but nevertheless, I get back to the dinghy and I put the fish in and immediately I hear her yell shark. 
So I look out and I'm like, okay, come on back to the boat. Well, she goes in all out defense mode and I'll let her tell you why. But what I see is her in defense mode watching this shark and the current <laughs> taking her further away from the boat. And I'm like, what are you doing? I start yelling at her like, what the heck are you doing? Get back, come back here. So I immediately leave the spear, grab our little, our little um, lionfish spear and put my mask back on and go after her to find out what in the world she's thinking. Well, I'll let you tell the rest of the story. <clears throat> well, now that I have the mic. So I was watching out. So I created this whole story in my head. This massive grouper was like the king of that hole. And I was watching this hole as Cole was swimming back to the boat and all these fish start coming out of it. And immediately in my head, I'm like, this guy was Mac Daddy and now that he's gone, all these fish are like swimming around and having a party. And then I see another grouper, so I'm keeping my eye on it. And then meanwhile, I'm looking around because I know that there's now blood in the water. So a shark, it could be inevitable that a shark is around. And all of a sudden I turn around, there's a shark and he's swimming right near the surface. Well, sharks don't typically do that. They just kind of swim and glide around and typically, at least in the experience we've had, they'll be they'll swim towards down the bottom, down yeah. farther toward the bottom. Well, this uh, shark was very much at the top. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's in you know defense aggressive mode. So I turn around and I start to go after him with my spear because I will poke you know him. poke him, make him swim away. I never got that close to him, but at the same time there was you know this current. So that's it's just what like it's there. just like any other wild animal. Like you have to. You have to be aggressive towards them to, to scare them away, um, and so that's what you—that's what you do with these sharks too. Is you—you you want to assert your dominance uh, to them, but you don't want to do that while going away from the, your dinghy. So I just went down to make sure the anchor was set. And right actually next to the anchor is a lionfish. And we always do our best to shoot every lionfish we see. So I'm gonna grab this black reef lionfish three prong. And we're gonna go down and shoot us a lionfish. Maybe we'll have some sashimi tonight. just got back to the boat and Cole has started filleting the two fish and there is a massive shark swimming all around our boat. He um, swam up under our dinghy. It has nothing to do with me filleting the fish. He nothing, the yeah, fish. nothing to do with us filleting the fish. He was already here. I always feel a little bit nervous about swimming in anchorages because you just never know like what people are throwing out if they are throwing out um, fish carcasses or anything like that. Yeah, so let's do a quick recap. I just immediately grabbed the knife and started filleting. So I apologize to you guys. I should have remembered we're filming today, um, like every day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I end up getting two Nassau groupers, uh, decent size. You guys saw those together. Uh, this is a yellow jack, and yellow jack is an awesome uh, sashimi fish. So we're actually gonna clean him and uh, and have some capachi. Carpaccio. But this guy is a lionfish and I tend to shoot or try to shoot every single lionfish I see. Small, big, medium, whatever, does, size, doesn't, size doesn't matter. And the reason for it is because these guys are invasive to the Caribbean waters. They'll eat everything on the reef. They are, yeah, they will just suck up every little fish possible. But they don't really have any predators. Exactly. They have zero predators. And if you look, you can see the spines here. Uh, those spines are actually venomous. And if they stick into you, uh, 
it can cause some major, major, major pain. Tomorrow is a long travel day. We are headed to Duncan Town, so we're gonna call it a night early after we eat dinner here and get this fish all cleaned up. So we'll see you then. Good night. Bye.